Hi everyone, my name is Katrina. I teach the MOA program, Medical Office Administration program. Um, I've had years uh, experience working in uh, both a hospital setting, I've worked in private doctor's offices, I've worked in radiology clinics as well. I did a lot of temporary work for a temp agency to get a lot of experiences working in many areas of medicine, um, which was a great, great experience for me myself. I learned a lot then. Um, and then I was asked one day to if I would be interested in um, teaching the medical program and I was just like very excited. I felt I had all the qualifications to be uh, an instructor to students and uh, it's been very successful for me and my students. So the medical office program runs about 11 months. Um, we go through programs. We start with all the Microsoft suites. So we talk, start with Outlook. Uh, we do Word, we do Excel, we do PowerPoint. Um, just so the students are familiar because those are programs you will be using in the field. Uh, we do keyboarding, which is great because I've had students who come in with a very low typing speed, like 18, 19 words a minute, and they get boosted. By the time we finish the program at the end of 11 months, they are like typing 40 and plus because we're practicing every day that uh, the keyboard. Uh, we do OHIP billing. We do medical terminology and anatomy. That is the longest part of the program. It has many weeks attached to it, but it's like learning a new language, right? And we do office administration. I do a lot of role playing. Uh, we do telephone recordings for messages. We role play with each other in class, like we're a patient talking to the MOA at the front desk. Uh, we do a lot of uh, one-on-ones. We do partners and we do group activities so that we learn about how to be with people in a team environment and how everyone, like just teaches everyone how to get along and put their ideas together and see how what we come up with, right? So once you finished doing uh, the core program of medical office, in the last four weeks of being in the class, you have a choice of either doing the capstone or we do practical. Right now we're doing the capstone program and what that consists of is um, for one week, you do all, it's like all like a refresher of the past year. So every week we have a few activities that you have to do. Um, we do them at home. Uh, you do them on your own time. It's not like you're in the classroom doing the activities. Um, so every week, uh, I would meet with my students and I would assign them what their work is for the week and they submit it to me. And then the following week, we would do another set of activities and exercises, and that would be for four weeks. Practicum is coming back, and what practicum is, is students go and find a place that they would like to work, preferably a doctor's office, because that's basically what the course is for. Um, anything to do with the medical field, so it could be anything in pharmaceutical, it could be, uh, if it's a lawyer's office, a medical, uh, office and they do a lot of medical cases, they could do their practicum there as well. Um, doctor's office, radiologist, if they can get into the hospital and then they would spend four weeks full time from like nine to five, eight to four, they would do a full day at a placement site to gain experience and get some, you know, cause they've been to school for so long. So it's very nice to take the theory part of it and now put it into action and, and, and have that four weeks and have somebody kind of overlook over you and kind of say, these are the things we're going to do and if they needed any extra help with something at least that person that's overseeing them is there to assist them in that and I've had so many great reviews from uh, many of the practical places practicum places um, it's just a very students come away with such a big reward of doing those four weeks it's just very nice to hear and also I've of all the students that have gone on practicum, I would say maybe 70% of them have actually been hired at the site they did their practicum at. And I also am very happy to say that I don't have one um, MOA student that isn't working. Every single one of them is working still till today. So it's just, it's just very wonderful news to hear.
The career opportunities for someone who takes this program, medical office, is that you're not geared just to work in medical office because all the skills I teach in this program are all administrative skills all the office skills, how to keyboard, how to do all the Microsoft. The bonus of this program is that you have the terminology anatomy on top of it. So yes, I know the students can go work for uh, OHIP, they can work for the ministry, they can work for public health. But on top of working in like doctors and hospitals, they also have the extra bonus of being able to go work, like I said, in a lawyer's office. They can work for pharmaceutical. They could go work for Microsoft Word. They could work for a construction company. They could just go anywhere because of all the skills that they're taught. If I was to give advice to someone who wanted to take the medical office administration program, I'm always asking the students when I see them on the first day, what brought you to school today? Because I have students who come in here right out of high school. They're 18, 19 years old. My oldest student I ever had was 74 years old. She was amazing. And I'm always interested to why students come here. You came here for a reason. Don't ever lose that track, that thought. What brought you to go to school? And if you need to keep reminding yourself you came here for a reason, don't quit. And when it gets really tough, because some people, they find some parts of the modules tough. Some people can fly through them. We're all built differently. We all learn differently. That doesn't mean because when the going gets tough, we quit. We just need to remind ourselves why we're here and what the bigger picture is going to be at the end of this. And one of my proudest, proudest moments is when I tell students at graduation, when a student comes up across the platform or across the stage and we're handing out diplomas and you hear a child, way to go, mom, you did it, mom. I'm so proud of you, dad because I get both male and female students, and that in itself is very rewarding.